Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Skywars video, guys. Today, we are back in Skywars, and guys, we are going to be doing something awesome, guys. We are finally going to be doing the Age of Automation. So, guys, in between episodes, I've just kind of been farming, like, almost AFK, just, like, on the side, carrots and all, all the other crops. And, I mean, I've actually, at this point, moved on from wheat because it's genuinely just too slow. But I didn't want to do anything too crazy, so I've been manually farming all this. And, guys, and obviously, I mean, the way this looks right now is really kind of subpar. Like, I just took the main island. So, guys, we are going to have to construct another island on the side to actually do our farming. Because that's starting to look a little bit hideous, okay? So, guys, to start off this episode, I just need to get this mess right here cleaned up, okay? So, you know, let's just start off our video right here with making another island. And as you guys can see, I've already made a little bit of a pathway around about where I want to put it. Maybe, like, a little bit further away. Yeah, this looks nice. So, guys, I'm going to just build a gigantic island right now, okay? We're going to do it super quick. I'll be back with you all in a second. I just need a place to move these crops, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, so I've just finished the island right here. As you can see, I mean, it looks pretty good, guys. I mean, there's still no stone in place, but I just kind of still have to do that just because, I mean, I really just needed to farm land, if anything. I'll, I'll do the stone in, in a little bit or something, okay? But guys, pretty much I've just been kind of farming my carrots up a little bit and, uh, you know, just kind of spending a little bit of time farming carrots. And I think it's finally about time for us to try and develop into the next age, will you call it, where we have a bit of automation. So as of now, pretty much everything that has happened to me or that I've done has been purely by just grinding okay so this is oh my god seventeen thousand coins that feels nice this is gonna be the first time where we will not have to constantly be actively doing something so you can buy these carrot totems for six thousand gold and as far as i know these will just automatically farm the carrots for you so if i actually buy one of these whoop, actually i'm gonna buy as many as i can, can I buy three can i buy more four okay i got four carrot totems now as you can see right here i have them in my hand people are just randomly dropping wheat seed i'll join the fun <laughs> yeah boy why are we doing this, guys? I don't know. Okay, let's just let's just go back to the base. So let's just see what these things actually do, guys. Because actually, I haven't really even tested around with any of these yet. So when you actually open these up in your inventory, wait, what? I think they said used to say something. I, I don't remember. But um, because I've had one of these in my hands before, I dropped it in the void because I don't take no hand out. Okay, so let me just place one of these. I don't know where to place it, so I'm just gonna place it kind of like right here. Boom. Let's see what what happens with this. Doing nothing. F open carrot totem. There's nothing in there. Do I put it like right here? It's not doing anything. Um, am I completely doing this wrong? Oh, it picked up a carrot. There it is. It's automatically farming carrots now, I think. It's not really too fast with it. <laughs> I mean, I can do this a lot faster. I'm just going to leave that there for a little bit because I actually don't know if that's the best it's going to do. Because if it is, that is not really all that promising. Got two carrots now. Yeah, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. I mean, there's three carrots in here now, so I guess that's nice. But I mean, this is not really too efficient of a thing, I guess, so far. Here, I'm actually going to just place these final totems because I mean, I have them now anyway. I don't even, I don't, I don't actually know if they work, but whatever. <laughs> Boom. I'll place one there and I'll place one way back here. There, I think that's going to give us a pretty good idea of how good these things are actually doing. But this one's actually filled up now. That's nice. All right. Here, guys. But there's also these other things that you can also get. So if I wanted to automate these even more, I think I can get these conveyor belts. Belts, okay, so this is one steel rod and like five iron and I think this should allow me to Automatically collect these materials so that way I could literally be afk and grab carrots, so to say, right? For this, I'm gonna need a lot of iron. So I actually don't know how I'm gonna get this, but um, here, let's see. Um, I think my best bet is just gonna be hunting for a ton of iron. I think there's also a totem that can give you iron. Iron totem for 4,000 coins. Oh, wait, actually, I might be able to buy one. Sell all this. Buy one, two, three. I now have three iron totems. I actually don't know what these do, but uh, we'll figure out shortly because, uh, I mean, what else? <laughs> all right, let's place one over here, one back there, and uh, one over here, I guess. Our carrot totems are doing good. <gasps> oh, an iron horse. Oh, that is gonna be actually so much better than just going over to the main island, guys. I can just get a bunch of these things. You know what, guys? I'm not gonna lie. I think these carrot totems are currently not all that useful. <laughs> So I think I'm just going to stick to doing it by hand for now, which uh, kind of sucks. <laughs> I guess we just need more automation. Like, we just need, like, 50 of them and then, like, just cover the whole world or something. Dude, honestly, though, these iron totems, though, these are good. Like, this is a lot better than just kind of constantly having to go to the, the, to the center place to get iron. Like, they're constantly racing other people to get a little bit of iron, and it really kind of sucks a little bit. But this is a lot better. Oh, my God. I wish I would have looked into this earlier. <laughs> Great. All right, time to farm up some of the iron I've gathered now, because I've just been kind of, you know, AFK 
Okay, grabbing some iron. Let's see what we can do with this. Because I'm pretty sure, actually, guys, if we manage to get, like, the whole conveyor set up and, like, the whole everything set up, right? I'm pretty sure we can fully automate farming to the point of where, like, every once in a while, we will have to go up to our chest system and just pick up all of the carrots and sell everything. Like, I think we can get to that level of efficiency. I, I just know we're not quite there yet, obviously. But I just want to... I just want to get a taste of it. You know what I mean? All right, everything is smelted up now. So let's see right here. Okay, if I wanted to get a conveyor belt, I need... I just need a steel rod. Okay. Oh, 25. Oh, that's expensive. Can I place this? Nope. It's just a thing. All right, I guess we're going to make a conveyor belt. Let's see. Can we automatically take out the carrots out of these, uh, like, uh, what do you call them? Carrot poles. Let's just call them that. Okay, there, there you go. Let's see. Because I think you're supposed to be able to do that, actually. Oh, there it went. That is working. Yes. Okay, let's see. Industrial chest. We need a medium chest and a conveyor belt. So we need more wood. Okay, good to know. <laughs> okay, we need a steel rod. Craft one of those. We need more iron. All right, guys. So I think we're finally able to craft the industrial chest right here. As you can see, we needed a lot of this stuff. So uh, I think we have everything now. I think so here. Okay. Okay. We already have a... Okay. I grabbed the old conveyor belt. I'm not sure if I still need a conveyor belt though. So I'll just buy a couple. Okay. There you go. Let's see if we can set up something that actually is a little bit more resemblant of an efficient farm, I guess. So let's get this black back in place. I think we could maybe just go straight like, like this, I think. But I actually don't think this is the best way to do this, guys. So I've been doing a little bit of thinking and thinking like, what is the absolute most efficient way for me to actually farm these carrots? Because guys, I want to become a rich carrot god so i was thinking what if we okay that looks very dumb guys this is not the idea right here okay <laughs> what really kind of is but it isn't so what if right next to every single magic carrot pole we put one of these conveyors and they drop the carrots into a hole like this and then down here under the ground we can build out like a super efficient carrot conveyor system to pretty much loop them all in one place. As you can see, this one still just kind of fell off the world, which is not ideal. <laughs> but I already think if I would place this here, this would technically work. I think. Did it work? It definitely did not work. Great. Let's see. Build it out a little bit more so it can't really fall out, maybe? I really hope this works, because this would definitely look a lot better than having a whole conveyor system around. You know what I mean? Oh! That worked! It picked up the carrots! Oh, we're we're in we're in business, boys! Right, so let's pick up this whole thing right here. Let's actually delete the thing up there, so that way no more carrots are gonna, like, just die. Let's build out an entire layer down here of actual like like land i guess because i mean we're gonna build a whole system down here we, we might as well right all right guys so let's say we wanted to build the most efficient possible carrot construction down here so actually i gotta I gotta get up. <laughs> As you can see right here, I think if I have multiple conveyor belts, it's got, if I have multiple conveyor belts, it's in general gonna be a lot more efficient. So I'm, I mean, I'm just gonna have to craft a lot more of them. Ugh. All right, so guys, pretty much every single conveyor belt is gonna run me back around uh, 30 iron. So I'm just gonna have to do a bunch of iron farming, guys. I'm gonna be back with you guys in a little bit once I've gotten enough iron farmed to the point of where I can actually craft myself quite a few conveyors. Okay, I'm gonna need a cup. I'm gonna need a cup. Dude, I've straight up been spending so much time farming iron iron that i was like pretty much got him to the point where it's like anyone sell an iron i'll pay a good dollar <laughs> like how much iron does fifteen thousand gold got by well pretty much guys i went to the banker right here i was like hey banker give me fifteen thousand gold in uh, coins i pretty much just sold all the carrots that i got while i was just kind of you know also getting iron and uh now there's just people dropping coal no handouts i pay for everything not like these other youtubers that just handouts <laughs> Here, so let's see how much iron is actually worth in the game because I actually have no idea. Here, iron. If I wanted to sell iron, I get six coins per iron thing. So let's, let's do the math. I should be able to buy two and a half thousand iron with this money. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Will you take 200 iron ore? I'll take I'll take 200. I said yes. How much for 200? I mean, I'll take anything, man. I'm so tired of pong, pong, pong. Hitting that thing right there, man. Here, he, he said, how much will you pay for 200, okay? So let's craft him a little bit of a good deal. Let's say I paid 10 bucks per iron piece, okay? 2,000 gold. I offered him 2,000 gold for the iron. I mean, that's a good deal. He's getting four gold per piece extra. As if he sold it, like, to the bank. Actually, now that I've realized the price is 2,000, I'm actually gonna take some of my money back here. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. He said, sounds good. Yes. All right. I told him to invite me to his island. Dude, this is the first deal I've ever done in this game. I really hope I'm not going to get scammed. <laughs> All right, let's head to his island. Here we are, okay? This is the man that is going to sell us the thing. The, 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 the iron. Oh my God, wait, what? You can do this? No wonder he has so much iron. Well, I still don't care. I still want your iron. Iron first. While you're doing that, I'll drop the two bags of gold right here. Boom, there they are. And then I will start slobbing her up all this iron. Yes, yes. Dude, honestly, it doesn't even surprise me that he has this much iron. I feel like an idiot now. I didn't know you could do 
that? Okay, he's gonna give me more. Yes, 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 yes. And now I still have to waste all of my damn time cooking this all up. He said, I think that was 200. I said, it's 113. I mean, I have 113 in my inventory. Yeah. I said, yeah, but it's okay if the game is glitchy. I think the game just kind of had, had an oopsie there. I am uh, very sorry, brother. I think we both got scammed. <laughs> Dude, how much iron does this guy have? I think some of it despawned. I got 150. Apparently, he said that was 250. The game probably despawned some of it. I'm very sorry, but bro, I'm gonna set my own setup now, man. Like, what? <laughs> I feel like an idiot. <laughs> let's clean all of this up and let's make our own iron setup, man. Dude, screw carrots. Dude, this is where the money's at, man. Okay, one, two, three. This goes here. Wait, actually, there's one off. And that goes there. Dude, if this literally generates iron like that other thing, I'm gonna be triggered. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's no way I've been this stupid this is all my life. <laughs> And now we still have to spend the rest of our life smelting all of this up. Great. <laughs> well, let's get back to smelting, I guess. <laughs> all right, guys. It's a while later. And I have just been spending all of my time grinding iron gas. I now have 400 of the stuff. And I actually ended up kind of settling with like, I mean, over there, I had a little bit of a setup setup, but I was just kind of like, okay, this is kind of trash. So I was just like, okay, let me go down in the basement and let me just make a little bit of an iron setup. So I grabbed two of these things. I uh, have two chests and the iron is just slowly but surely kind of going into here. So while I'm smelting it, I'm pretty much getting new iron. Now, I was just kind of thinking, should I either make a crazy carrot farm or should I make a crazy iron farm? Because quite frankly, if I upgrade the iron farm, right, very surely over time, the whole thing is going to upgrade because I mean, quite frankly, every single thing right here, it needs a ton of iron. But then I was thinking, I don't want to spend every second of my life pretty much melting stuff. So I decided to actually still go with, <laughs> still go with uh, upgrading the carrot farm over there because guys, I was like, okay, I, I would need one of these industrial smelter things, which they need pink sticky gears. Apparently, these are the absolute number one rarest item in the game. And you need three of these to actually craft one of these, which pretty much just automatically smelts all of the stuff that comes out of this. So yeah, I, I was just like, okay, that's not gonna happen. So we're gonna just get as much of everything as we can, pretty much, and uh, get a bit of a setup going. So I'm gonna need a bunch of these poles. So I'm gonna make like, here, six of these should do, six of these should do. Okay, I've pretty much crafted them all into conveyor belts now, and that allows me to craft one of these things. Okay, perfect. So let's see how much I can upgrade this little place over here. So the whole idea that I was kind of having is that if I can actually somehow get as many of these totems next to a single conveyor belt, okay? Because the way they kind of work is they pretty much just drop off the items from here, as you can see right there, into a conveyor belt. Like if I would, for example, have four totems and then, or yeah, if I would have like three, th I can't even speak, three totems right here with a conveyor belt right here and a hole right here, that would pretty much just work and we go a lot faster. So that's kind of what I'm thinking um, when it comes to all this stuff. And after kind of cracking my, my brain about it a little bit, I've realized the most efficient efficient way to do this is actually if I put them in this formation, like a little five. I just need one more totem. And then have multiple different conveyor belts going out of the totems like so into the holes. And then down there, I'm going to pretty much process them down into a single chest. There's a carrot down there. It's working. Ooh, ooh. All right, here. I just need more carrot totems. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. I actually need to get more gold. Ugh. Sell it all. There you go. Finally can get another totem. Carrot totem. Purchase. All right, there you go. I think all I need to do right now, actually, is get more conveyor Layers. Great. Oh, I love these things so much. Ooh. All right. I think we have enough wood now, actually, like in the, the wooden form right here. So let's think. I need three more chests. Yes. And six more conveyor belts. Or actually, five more. Five more. One, two, three, four. We're out of iron. <laughs> I've been smelting iron for so much time. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's get, uh, get, get iron, guys. Iron, very guys. Good. <sighs> All right, guys. I think I finally have enough resources to get enough of everything to actually do this. I need one more steel rod. Oh, I got enough stuff. Okay. Now I need three of these. Please tell me I have enough. Oh, I have enough. I have enough. Yes. Okay, guys. We have a, We have our setup completed. We officially have our carrot farm. It, oh my god. I am beyond excited. Yes. Okay. Get, get out of here. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go right down here. Okay, um, how are we going to do this? We got to build the chutes right there. And then we place the carrot. Okay, I think this right here should work. I think so. My God, I'm beyond excited to actually get this sorted. So guys, here's the first setup. And we're pretty much going to just copy that into every single direction right here. So we're going to place one right here. We're going to place one right here. Wait, misplacement. All right, chest right there. Chest right there. And then our final chest. Boom. Now we just need to make sure that nothing... Oh, wait, I actually misplaced that. Make sure nothing falls out. There we go. Dude, this is going to be like literally the 
the best possible setup. Okay, final little bit of thing to do right here. And after this bit right here, our carrot farm is fully completed. Okay, now let's just hope this thing is actually any kind of efficient because the amount of time and effort that went into this construction right here is actually beyond me. <laughs> like it's come to the point that if I, if this thing actually makes profit in the amount of money that it's costed me, I mean, it would genuinely shock me, okay? All right, guys, but with that, we officially have our carrot farm completed. And with that, we are also going to end off today's video, guys. If you haven't already liked this video and subscribed to the channel, guys, I literally spent recording this video probably like four hours or five hours or something. And it's like three in the morning right now. So guys, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these videos, guys. I'm really doing everything I can to get them out to you. But yeah, guys, in the next video, I want to upgrade this right here if I can, okay? I really want to see if I can make an upgrade for the iron setup because, guys, everything in this game just requires this stupid material iron and it takes 10 years to smelt, okay? The amount of time it takes to smelt the stupid stuff is insane, okay? But guys, that's all for the next video, guys. Want to see more of it? Like the video. Subscribe right now. See you all later. Bye-bye.